Hi there friends, it's Sarah from the Dorothy Alley Memorial Library with another online story time. I am super excited about our story time theme today because here in Vermont it's May and there are lots and lots of cool things happening outside right now. I know, it's been kind of rainy and we've had a lot of cloudy days too. And of course, there's lots and lots of mud. But I'm also noticing that the grass is getting a little bit greener and the trees are starting to leaf out and get green too. And I'm also seeing pops of some other colors outside like yellow and white, just like these yellow and white daffodils that I brought in to share with you from my yard. I bet you're seeing lots of these around where you live too. And we're also seeing and hearing more animal activity after the long winter. I'm seeing birds making nests. I know that people have even seen some bears coming out looking for food after their long winter's hibernation. And at night around my house, I'm hearing a really loud animal. And I wanted to share what this animal sounds like to see if you can guess what animal it is that's making this incredible loud noise. Are you ready? Let's get our listening ears out. I'm gonna play you the sound of these incredible animals. Okay, here we go. It's such a loud noise, it must be a great big animal making it. No? Oh, you know what? You're right. It's not a big animal at all. In fact, it's a teensy tiny little frog making that noise. And actually, it's lots and lots and lots and lots of little frogs getting together and making noise all at once. Here in Vermont, we call them spring peepers and they're really happy that it's getting warmer and then they can go to the water and get together and make their lovely, lovely sounds in the evening. So I hope that when you're outside in the next couple of weeks, you'll be listening for the spring peepers. So to honor all of these busy springtime animals, we're gonna be sharing songs and a story and a rhyme too, all about springtime animals. So let's get going. We'll have lots of fun. We are going to get started with a welcome song. This song is called Hi, Hello, and I love it because it incorporates lots of movement. So I hope that you'll join me in singing and dancing today. I also brought back the musical shakers that I made at our last story time, my rice shaker and my bean shaker. So if you have a shaker handy, we're going to be shaking today as well. So let's going. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Well, come along and clap with me, clap with me, clap with me. Come along and clap with me, clap with me today. Come along and shake with me, shake with me, shake with me. Come along and shake with me, shake with me today. Come along and wiggle with me, wiggle with me, wiggle with me. Come along and wiggle with me, wiggle with me today. Let's get our feet involved. Come along and stomp with me, stomp with me, stomp with me. Come along and stomp with me, stomp with me today. Come along and dance with me, dance with me, dance with me. Come along and dance with me, dance with me today. Well done, friends. I think we're ready for story time. So our song today is called Little White Duck. And I brought some friends from the library to help us sing our song. I brought, of course, our white duck, who says, quack, quack, and 
this lovely green frog. And the frog in our song today says, glug, glug. And this little teensy tiny black bug. And the black bug says, bzzz, bzzz. And last but not least, our friend, the red snake. And I'd love to hear your snake sounds. What does that sound like? Let's hear. Very nice. So let's get started. There was a little white duck sitting in the water. A little white duck doing what he ought. Well, he took a bite of the lily pad. He flapped his wings and he said, I'm glad that I'm a little white duck sitting on the water. Quack, quack, quack. Well, there's a little green frog swimming in the water. A little green frog doing what she ought. Well, she jumped right onto the lily pad that the little duck bit and she said, I'm glad that I'm a little green frog swimming in the water. Glug, glug, glug. And there's a little black bug floating on the water. A little black bug doing what he ought or well. He tickled the frog on the lily pad that the little duck bit. And he said, I'm glad that I'm a little black bug floating on the water, buzz, buzz, buzz. Well, there's a little red snake playing in the water, a little red snake doing what he ought or well. He frightened the duck and the frog so bad. He ate the bug and he said, I'm glad that I'm a little red snake playing in the water. Oh my. So there's nobody left swimming in the water. There's nobody left doing what they ought or well. There's nothing left but the lily pad. The duck and the frog ran away. I'm sad that there's nobody left swimming in the water. Boo, hoo, hoo. And that is the end of our song. It's a little bit of a sad ending, but that's the way animal life goes on the pond. I did want to be sure to share with you a little something else from our library. It's a picture book called Little White Duck. So when we're able to be back in the library, I hope you'll take a look for this story and remember the time when we sang Little White Duck together. So today I'm going to share with you one of my all-time favorite spring stories. It's about some animals just outside enjoying a wonderful day. And it is called A Perfect Day, written and illustrated by Lane Smith. And the cover gives a little hint as to some of the animals we're going to meet in our story. A perfect day. The warmth of the sun felt good on Cat's back. Cat liked to be in the flower bed where the daffodils grew. It was a perfect day for Cat. And if you look really closely in the middle of the daffodil bed, you can see our cat. The cool of the water was what Dog liked best. When it was hot, Dog sat in the wading pool that his friend Bert filled for him. It was a perfect day for Dog. 
He sure looks happy. Bird seed! Bert topped off the bird feeder with it. I think I know who's going to be happy. It was a perfect day for chickadee. Are there other animals who like bird seed? Squirrel! Oh, squirrel went up the pole! Bonk! Squirrel went down the pole. Squirrel could not get to the seed. But Bert dropped a corn cob onto the grass. It was a perfect day for Squirrel. I can't imagine that anything could go wrong on this lovely day. Oh boy, look who's here. And those animals look a little surprised if you look at Squirrel's expression and Chickadee is flapping her wings. It was a perfect day for Squirrel. But not anymore. And it was a perfect day for Chickadee. But look what happened to the bird feeder. And it was a perfect day for dog. But there goes the pool of water all over bear. And it was a perfect day for cat. But look who's in the daffodil patch making flower angels. The warmth of the sun, the cool of the water, a belly full of corn and seed, and a flower bed for a nap. It was a perfect day for bear. And Bert, dog, cat, chickadee, and squirrel can only watch from inside as bear enjoys this great day. That's the end of our story. But I wanted to show you something that Lane Smith included at the back of our book. He took a picture at his own house one day because he had a visitor, a real live bear came to his bird feeder. And it reminded me so much of that wonderful illustration in our story when Bear got the bird seed and look what he had done to the feeder. So I thought it was just really interesting to see how Lane Smith got some of the ideas for his story from something that happened in real life. So thank you for sharing a perfect day with me. And I hope that all of you will be able to go outside this spring and enjoy the sun and the flowers and all the things that spring has to offer, just like our animals did. I have a short counting rhyme to share with you today. It's called, I caught a fish alive. So let's do it through two times the first time nice and slow, and the second time we'll speed things up. So you'll need your 10 fingers at the ready for this rhyme. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I let it go again. Why did I let it go? Because it bit my finger. So which finger did it bite? The little one on the 
right. Nice job. So faster this time. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I let it go again. Why did I let it go? Because it bit my finger. So which finger did it bite? The little one on the right. Well done, everybody. Let's try out a library story time favorite song called Mmm Ah. And it features a frog, a fish, and a bear. And we are going to play around with some of the sounds that those animals might make. We're going to get kind of silly, too. But first, I want you to try something that frogs do. Frogs catch flies with their tongues. So they have to stick their tongues out really fast to catch those flies. I'd like to see if you could try that at home and show me what it looks like when you try to catch a fly. Let's see. Wow, you guys are pretty good at that. I bet if you keep practicing, you might be able to catch a real fly. Would you like to see what it looks like when I try to catch flies with my tongue? Okay, here we go. Hmm, I don't think I'm quite fast enough, but it's fun to pretend. So let's get started with mm, ah. Mm, ah went the little green frog one day. Mm, ah went the little green frog. Mm, ah went the little green frog one day. And they all went mm, mm, ah. But we know frogs go. Sha na 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 na. Sha na 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 na. Sha na 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 na. We know frogs go. Sha na 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 na. They don't go mm, mm, ah. That is pretty silly. I don't think so. How about fish? Bloop, bloop, went the little blue fish one day. Bloop, bloop, went the little blue fish. Bloop, bloop, went the little blue fish one day. And they all went bloop, bloop, bloop. But we know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss, kissy, kissy, kiss, kissy, kissy, kiss. We know fish go Kissy, kissy, kiss, they don't go bloop, bloop, bloop. That's pretty ridiculous. Hmm, what was next? Oh, bears, that's right, get out your bear claws, and here we go. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day. And they all went grr, grr, grr. But we know bears go huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug, huggy, huggy, hug. We know bears go huggy, huggy, hug. They don't go grr, grr, grr. Well, I don't know too many real bears who go huggy, huggy, hug. Maybe a teddy bear, though. So thanks for singing with me and getting silly. Believe it or not, it's time to say goodbye. So let's sing together a song called, We Clap and Sing Goodbye. You ready? Here we go. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing goodbye. And I still have my shakers. We shake and sing goodbye. We shake and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we shake and sing goodbye. We Dance and sing goodbye, we dance and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we dance and sing goodbye. So goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I miss seeing all of you. I hope you're doing really, really well. And I look forward to being with you again soon. Bye, everybody.